On September 1st, I had an appointment to see my gynecologist, and I told her that I felt this um, marbleized mass in my right breast. And then on September 3rd, my gynecologist called me to tell me that I have breast cancer. I felt extreme sadness, and it's the most frightening experience that I've had. There are just so many things you have to think about in a limited amount of time. I think it's important to have a place where you can just go, talk to someone, they assess what you need, and it's all right there for you. The vision for the center is something I think all of us share which is to create the most patient-friendly, uh, accommodating environment where patients feel extremely well cared for and that their health and their well-being, physical, spiritual, mental, all is taken into account as they travel through this process. And the point of developing the center at this time here is to start from the patient at the center and build out from that patient. What distinguishes us here at the Dubin Breast Center is we are truly a comprehensive breast center. And while there are other breast centers in and around New York City, we truly bring all the comprehensive services to the patient under one roof. We think that this is a momentous time for Mount Sinai as we open the doors of this really special place. A place where patients will come and get not only today's treatment, but tomorrow's treatment. Not only treatment for the most complicated cancers, but also preventive treatment. We're gonna be doing research at the Dubin Breast Center. So patients with disease that has not responded to standard treatments will have the newest and hopefully the most effective treatments available. Building a cancer center in a major medical center is absolutely essential. The fact is that you come to a single place and all the practitioners come to you is really very important for helping the patient cope with the disease, uh, making that experience, I think, as bearable as possible. Seven years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer. You think immediately, am I going to survive? My youngest daughter was only a year old and all I could do is look at my little Maya and say, oh my God, she's not going to have a mother. I felt that you needed a place which was seamless in the care where the specialties were all under the same roof. I also felt that it would be great if you could have a beautiful setting, very serene. What we do here is we try to work with patients, particularly with interventions like hypnosis, to help patients uh, with their thoughts and feelings about cancer treatment, and do it in a way that helps them change those thoughts and feelings so that they feel better. We are the first people to know a patient has cancer and call the patient with the results. So therefore we play a major role in the breast cancer life of many patients and talking to the patient really helps the patient alleviate their anxiety and we can almost always find something in common that we can talk about. So I think if I had to say what my personal philosophy is, is to leave your own life at the door and really make your day centered on the patient. It's a really very privileged position because really what you're doing is walking into a total stranger's life and trying to get to know them. If someone feels that I've made their journey through this process a little easier, a little better, a little bit more tolerable, then I've done my job. Glenn and Eva Dubin's gift that has enabled us to create the Dubin Breast Center has really been extraordinary and set an example for so many fellow trustees. And that gift, together with the additional funds that will continue to be raised as the center develops, opens, and starts treating patients, is a critical part of the overall cancer initiative that Sinai has established. After Eva was diagnosed and, and, and treated, uh, we realized you know, how widespread breast cancer is. I hope this is a starting point um, for other people that uh, are helped by the center.
I hope other people will see the Dubin Breast Center uh, as a place they, uh, they may want to support in the future. Certainly we couldn't open these doors without the support of many individuals. The visionaries such as Glenn and Eva Dubin have made this center possible, but amongst others have been the Price and Farben families who have made a major gift to name the Infusion Center in honor of Marjorie Price, their wife and mother. I think I'm going to be uh, feeling very emotional that actually this vision that I had that was basically a dream um, became a reality and uh, I, I'm, I feel very blessed that I'm going to be able to stay involved and I actually feel that in this area I can make a difference. When you feel that you can walk into some place and you can trust all the people there because they're competent and they're fighting this battle with you and you have your own team there for you, that is so reassuring and it just gives you a sense of relief. And I think that's why the Dubin Center is gonna be such a special place for patients.